The Ice Age is a great mystery of Earth science, but yet it can be explained by the flood. The flood was a great volcanic event and tectonic event, and at the end there'd be all this volcanic ash and aerosols in the stratosphere reflecting sunlight back to space, cooling the land surfaces mainly in summer. Also, the warm ocean caused by the flood from pole to pole and top to bottom would cause a lot more evaporation at mid and high latitudes to be picked up by storms and dumped very rapidly on the land for a rapid ice age. This ice age can be timed by the cooling of the ocean. Also, we can figure out its approximate depth. The ice sheets will come to a maximum, stop, and then melt as the oceans cool. And based on the cooling time of the ocean, by making some assumptions, the ice sheet would build up to a maximum in about 500 years. And then it would melt rapidly. The winters would be cooling off and becoming colder and drier, less moisture. So the summer melting is more efficient, so it would drop pretty fast. I calculate about 33 feet a year along the edge, so you'd have catastrophic melting. So the total time for an ice age is 700 years. This is an example of how we solve earth science challenges. The uniformitarian scientists are challenged with the ice age. They have over 60 theories and can't explain it's so radical of a climate change. But we can explain it as the aftermath of the flood, which shows that the flood was a real event and also verifies what we read in the Bible. We can trust the Bible as God's word and its history is true and what we read about how we get to heaven, how we live our life on earth, the spiritual aspects are true also, we can trust them.